Hey everybody, it's Miss Audrey from the Fairfield County District Library and I'm here today to do some art. Yay! So today we are going to, like I said, do some art and today we are going to be doing it with some good old-fashioned coffee filters. So coffee filters, either a paper plate or paper towels, and some washable markers. And what we're going to be doing is you're going to draw some kind of design on your coffee filter and you'll want to do it while it's on a plate or on a paper towel because the markers will bleed and you're going to want to pick colors that you think look kind of good together like i i like blues and greens and black i kind of prefer darker colors and maybe some orange just to make it pop now you're not really that's not a very good orange you don't really want to um, draw a picture so much as you want to draw sort of just designs. Me, I'm, I think I'm just gonna try, try to draw some lines and you'll see why in a moment. So just, you can do shapes, you can do patterns, you can do polka dots and blobs. You can try drawing a picture. There's no wrong way to do art, of course. particularly taking my time, but you can take as much time as you like at home. We in the children's department, we did a few of these a week or so ago while we were experimenting with this idea. And they all turned out very different and they all turned out pretty cool. I'll show you in a moment. There you go. Once you have all of your colors on your coffee filter, and as you can see, it bled through onto my plate, you're going to want to take some water. Now we have a little squirt bottle here. You can try um, getting a paintbrush wet and like tapping or flicking the bristles onto your um, filter, you can try dribbling water on with your fingers. If you don't have a spray bottle, there's lots of ways to make this work, but you're going to try to lightly dampen your paper plate, there we go, or your coffee filter rather, and almost immediately you'll see the colors start to run. I do want it to lie flat if possible and they run together. Uh oh, See, I got it a little bit too wet. Happily, washable marker also comes off of tables. And then, when your coffee filter is dry, you can do all sorts of cool things with your coffee filter to turn it into a bigger art project. You can leave it as it is and just hang it up in a window as a sort of a sun catcher, but you can also do other things with it as well. So some of the things that we did with our coffee filters is we made them into snowflakes. To turn it into a snowflake, you'll want to just fold the coffee filter in half and then in half again and then in half again until it's as small as you like and then you start cutting. So you can make some snowflakes. They look really pretty if you hang them in the window. You can also make a snowflake by cutting out strips of white paper. You can decorate with and gluing them on and you can decorate them with sequins or glitter if you like. Or if you're just sick of the fact that it's winter and you don't want snow, you can glue other things on there too. We thought this one looked sort of like a sunset, so we found a silhouette of a bird and I like octopuses, so I made this one into an octopus garden. 
These ones with the darker colors were left to dry on their paper plates and the plates themselves wound up with some pretty cool splotchy patterns on them. So you could also do something with the plates when you're done with them. These paler ones were left to dry on paper towels and we think that the paper towels maybe absorbed more of the color than the paper plates did and that's why they came out looking a little more pale. Um, but even those paper towels kind of came out looking sort of cool. So, well, not that one. But those ones did kind of, they came out kind of spotty. So you could also use the plates or the paper towels for some kind of art project too. You can go nuts and have some fun, go wild and have a good time and have fun creating. We'll see you next time. Um, we're still close to the public, but we are still doing our curbside service, and I hope everyone has a good day. Bye!